Welcome to the Sprite Cup Series Season 5. We're live at Bristol Motor Speedway for the Food City 500, the third race in the Sprite Cup Series Season 5 Short Track Swing, and the fourth race overall in Season 5. It's a beautiful day for racing. Let's take a look at your drivers to watch for. Kyle Larson starts on pole for today's race, his third consecutive pole, and third week in a row where he'll try to go for a win. As two weeks ago in North Wilkesboro, he was beat out by Bubba Wallace on the last lap. And last week at Dover, he was no match for Denny Hamlin, who had an amazing last lap drive. He's hoping that third time will be the charm today. Speaking of Bubba Wallace, he starts on the outside pole today. Two weeks ago, winner at North Wilkesboro, like I said earlier. He hopes to get another win here today at Bristol. And of course, we can't talk about Bristol without talking about Kyle Busch. Arguably his best racetrack. He has a lot of wins here in real life. And... He starts third today. Didn't have a good result last week at Dover. Hopes to turn that around this week at Bristol. Ryan Blaney. Didn't have a good result last week. Scraped the wall in the early going. Finished last of the on-track cars. He starts fourth today. Looking for a good result. Noah Gregson, with his best qualifying effort so far this season, starts fifth. He hasn't had a good season going, as he's finished in the back for most of the races. He's hoping for a good finish today. Kevin Harvick has not had the best start to the season. Won the Daytona 500, but hasn't done anything of note since. Finished last at North Wilkesboro. Finished 19th last week at Dover. And today, he starts deep in the field. He's hoping for a good finish today. Denny Hamlin was last week's winner at Dover. Beat Kyle Larson in an amazing finish. He starts at the back today. Hoping to make his way through the field. Now let's go trackside for the command. Drivers, start your engines! Cars fired up and roll off for 15 laps around the world's fastest half mile. Now let's look at your starting lineup. On the pole is Kyle Larson and to his outside is Bubba Wallace. Behind them, it's Kyle Busch and Ryan Blaney. Inside, row three, rookie Noah Gragson and Chase Briscoe is to his outside. Behind them, it's Austin Sindrick and William Byron. In a row five, it's Chase Elliott and Eric Almirola. And we have Alex Bowman and Martin Truex Jr. Behind them, Daniel Suarez and rookie Ryan Priest. And we have Harrison Burton and Ross Chastain. Then it's the RFK teammates of Brad Keselowski and Chris Buescher. Behind them, Eric Jones and Kevin Harvick. And we have old rivals, Denny Hamlin and Joey Legato. Then we had Austin Dillon and rookie Ty Gibbs. And running out the field, it is Christopher Bell. We are ready to go green here in the last great Coliseum. Face car pulls off. Green flag is in the air. Larson easily. Oh, around goes Kyle Bush. Caution is out on lap one. He's able to drive it away, but a early spin and an early caution right from the get-go. So here's the initial start. Oh, he just got tapped from behind by Noah Gregson. 
came up across the track in the oncoming traffic, but good thing his car slid back down onto the apron. That would have been disastrous. Here he is on pit road, getting four fresh tires. Tough break for him. He'll restart in the back. We're ready to restart on lap three out of 15 here at Bristol. Kyle Larson will be your leader for this next restart. Take two. Green flag is back out. Larson easily able to cover wall that's going on the wall. He'll fall in line behind Kyle Larson. Bubba tries to utilize the outside to try to get around him. Can't get quite, can't quite get the run. Now he tries the top lane. Still nothing. He tucks back behind Kyle Larson. Trying to get around him. No success. Oh! Turn four. Chris Buescher and Ryan Priest and Eric Jones, that orange car is who you just saw driving away from the scene of the accident. Crash on the front stretch. Caution is back out on lap 6. The 17 of Chris Buescher. Backwards. 41 of Ryan Priest. Had an incredible start to the season. Second place in the Daytona 500. Couple good finishes after that. Today... That streak ends. What happened? So Priest going around the outside. Oh, he just tried to tuck in. Yeah. Took two other cars with him. That's a shame. Let's take a look at it again. Yeah, just try to Tuck in in front of Eric Jones. Tagged Busher. Sent the three of them up into the outside wall. Eric Jones did drive away from that. But he's gone to the garage. So he'll likely be done for the day. As will Chris Busher and Ryan Priest. That's a tough break for them. They'll be out of the race. We're ready to restart on lap 8 out of 15 here at Bristol. Kyle Larson will be your leader for this next restart. Green flag is back out. Oh, smoke coming out of the back. Oh, and a big crash in turn 2. A hard one on the restart. Bubba Wallace, I saw smoke coming out of the back of that car. And then he got plowed into by William Byron. And Austin Sindrick gets collected. Let's take a look at that restart. So Larson gets a big push from Ryan Blaney. They clear Bubba Wallace, he moves down to the inside and then starts smoking. Gets rammed into from behind by William Byron. William Byron moves up the racetrack. Takes poor Austin Centric with him. Nowhere to go. Here it is again. So Wallace started started smoking. Perhaps he blew an engine. I'm not sure. And Byron, unable to slow down, runs into the back of him and ends up collecting poor Austin Sendrick, who had nowhere to go. Tough break for all of them. They're out of the race. We're ready to restart with six laps to go here at Bristol. Kyle Larson will be your leader for this next restart. He's Dominated this race so far. Will anyone have anything for him? Green flag. Larson jumps out. Easily able to clear before he gets to, before he even gets into turn one. Chase Elliott to the inside of Ryan Blaney for second place. He takes the position. Alex Bowman peeking goes to the inside of Ryan Blaney for third. 
Now it's the Hendrick 1 2 3. It's Larson leading. Will the Hendrick boys have anything for Kyle Larson? It's Kyle Bush. At the top of your screen right there just took fifth place from Noah Gregson. Kyle Bush. Here comes Bowman and Elliott side by side and Bush through the middle. What an amazing move. Here they come to the white flag. Will Kyle Bush have anything? He comes to the inside of Kyle Larson. Can't quite make the pass. Final two corners. He comes to the inside of Larson and Larson wins it. Wow. What a finish. First of all, what an amazing last lap drive by Kyle Busch. Two Hendrick teammates side by side in front of him. Going into one, he goes right in between them. He made it look easy. And then, on the white flag lap, dove to the inside of Larson. Couldn't quite make the pass. Larson went to the bottom and then eeped high. And Kyle Busch tried to take that. Tried to use that to his advantage. Go to the inside of Larson. Made a hard charge. But uh, couldn't pull it off. I commend him for trying though. That was amazing. So Kyle Larson finally gets that victory he's been longing for. He came oh so close the past two weeks. But just couldn't get it done. Got bested by another driver. But today, he bests the whole field. A dominating performance. He led all the laps today. So, he'll score the maximum 30 points. A well-earned victory. He takes the checkered flag and burns it down. Congratulations to Kyle Larson for winning the Food City 500 at Bristol. Here are your final results. Kyle Larson finally gets that victory he's been searching for all this season. Kyle Busch came also close to beating him, but Kyle Larson would not be denied. He's got to settle for second. Chase Selly, Alex Bowman, Noah Gregson run out the top five. Noah Gregson, a strong performance. After his teammate uh, finishes last today due to a DNF, Noah Gregson able to bring it home to a top five for Legacy Motor Club. Ryan Blaney, Chase Briscoe, Eric Amarola, Ross Chastain, Daniel Suarez run out the top 10. A double top 10 for Trackhouse Racing. I'm sure Justin Marks will be very happy about that. Kevin Harvick finishing 15th. He's been struggling the past few races. Not sure if this was what he was hoping for. Only able to gain a handful of spots. Big blows for Bubba Wallace and William Byron in points. Coming into today, William Byron was the second place point man. He'll take a devastating blow as far as points are concerned. And Ryan Priest, a tough end to the day for him. He had a strong rookie showing in the Daytona 500, finishing second to his teammate, Kevin Harvick, actually pushing his teammate to the win. Got a few good results the last two weeks, and now finishes 24th with a DNF. And Eric Jones had two top, ten, two top tens the last two races. This week, finishes last. And here are your point standings after today. Kyle Larson tops the charts again with 104 points. 23 point lead over second place Kyle Busch. Nearly a full race worth of points. Eric Amarola moves up to third from seventh. This was a good day for him. William Byron falls down to sixth in the standings after the DNF today. Ryan Priest was 6th coming into today, falls down the ninth. Still a lot of shuffling going on in the points. 
as it's still early in the season. Noah Gregson with this top five moves up to 20th in the standings. So now Austin Dillon takes the unwanted title of being last in points. Next week, we head to Atlanta Motor Speedway for the Quaker State 400 at 3 Eastern, 12 Pacific. Super Speedway Racing at a mile and a half. That should be a fun one. I hope you enjoyed this race. This is Brandon Gomez in the booth, signing off.